Exciting turkey gobbler win from 16th, eighth in the point standings, four wins, nine top fives in the 11 races he was there. And that, of course, is Jason Jamison coming home in eighth. All right, seventh in the points. A uh, guy we talked about earlier tonight, a uh, good racer, 13 starts. He had one win, that was a big win for him, and I, it was, was for me too. I was, I was tickled to see him get a victory. Three top fives, nine top tens, and that's Roger Brewer. Sixth place. Guy had a couple really good runs at the beginning of the year, jumped in that Robertson machine. He's coming home in sixth place. Made 15 of the shows, that's Joel Ortberg. Uh, I gotta give my biggest thank out uh, to Brent Pat Robertson. Uh, they devoted a lot of time, a lot of money into this season. Uh, we didn't have the best runs, but we were there every week and uh, hope to see you guys sometime next year. All right, fifth in the points in our late model division. Uh, 16 starts, he had nine top tens. Uh, pretty much with us every week, good hard racer. Nobody tries harder than this guy. Uh, fifth in the points is Gary Wilson. <laughs> All the club difference in town, running that six cylinder versus everybody else. Yes, sir. And he does a great job with it. You guys gotta let the tracks leg over so that motor don't cause you any trouble. <laughs> but anytime uh, a guy like myself that brings no more money and talent to it than I than I do has a good year, uh, it can only be because I've had a lot of good luck and a lot of help. You know, Rusty Yarger was with me every week, and I'd like to thank everybody that helped, and hope I can return the favor. Thank you. Coming home fourth in our point standings. Guy that's been with us every week at the racetrack, not only since he's been in the late model division, but also when he runs the street stocks. Fourth in our Sunset Construction late model this year, Timmy Carpenter. Yeah. Had seven top tens this year. Well, I know he talked about the street stocks. So you guys are wanting to get in the late models, I'll tell you what, it's a tough place to run. <laughs> we had three years of hell up there. We took, you know, this, this year we changed everything we've been doing. We're getting ready, we're going to try to do something better. So uh, we're tired of running the back, but when we get up front, we want to run with the leaders. So hopefully, Barry, we can be up here with you next year. Uh, good job, Barry. Uh, thanks to everybody, thanks to my wife, my dad, uh, Crosswell Tours, uh, They've been on since we've been running street stocks. Uh, Hughes Automotive, uh, Valley View. Um, my mom, which uh, Hughes Automotive, my mom. Um, just thanks for everybody, thanks. He had two wins last season, six top fives, 13 top tens. Uh, he's been racing a long time. Uh, know his family well, great family, know his dad. Uh, his dad drew, drew a race car for us. John Whitney drew uh, me and Kim's race car a couple years, won a track championship, won a lot of races. So love this guy to death. Third place in points with John Whitney. Coming home second in the point standings, another one of those guys that uh, Let's just say exciting, uh, controversial, uh, yeah, you can say drama, you can say a lot of things, but I think one of the things that uh, you got to respect is the fact that uh, he loves Moeller and he comes here every week. Uh, coming home second in the point standings, he won three features this year, sorry kids, uh, eight top fives, and uh, that was of course Captain Chaos Chad Stapleton, coming home second in the point. I 
Chadwood. What am I going to say about Chad? Sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, the Gator. Sorry, kids. There you go. There's your Chad. Picture? Bye. We need proof that you actually took the trophy. That's why there's pictures. Oh, no. Hide it. All right, <clears throat> we'll move on to our points champion for the uh, Senesis Construction Late Models 2011. And I, I don't know how many in a row this is. Four? Four. I believe this is four. But, uh, you know, yeah, he worked, he done, he did dig for it this year. I mean, Chad was right there, went right down the last couple races. And, uh, I mean, it, it was exciting. We had some good races. But Barry, Barry's been in the business a long time. Great race car driver. He's got a good sponsor, a good team. And um, he started every night we opened the gates like he always does. He had two wins. Um, you know, without 18 starts, he had 15 top fives, 17 top tens. So, you know, I said before, that, that's how you win a championship when you race for points. So, a uh, good racer, known him a long time. Um, 2011 points, champion in the late models, Barry Doss. <laughs> Those two men that we have, I think those two men were in the last four point races. So uh, when the pressure was all on, uh, Barry, you got it done. I just want to thank my sponsors, uh, Mount Ford, Hazards, t and Truck, and uh, Holman Motors. I'd like to thank Calvin and Dave and Dustin for all the help. And uh, I couldn't make it through this year without Calvin. and get me going when I wanted to give up. Thank you. <laughs> Calvin, come on up here. Obviously, we got a champion trophy as well, so we'll get Calvin up here. <laughs> nice. Hey, said this story a couple times this year. Kevin, you got kissed in victory lane? Uh, afraid so, by a guy. Well, my interesting thing was Calvin gave me cookies. <laughs> I know I'm a fat guy and all, but uh, I'm leaving victory lane and, and all of a sudden I hear Calvin, hey, 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 wait, wait. So I turn around and I walk back to him and goes, here, and just hand me cookies. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, Mike, uh, I about said he had the cookies as a kiss from Danny McQueen. Uh, that's what I'm famous for, so I won't take it. Stay up here very well. Dave? Dave. Yo, Dave. <laughs> These people here are the hardest working ones I've seen. Next to Chad Stapleton, I've never had to take Barry down before. <laughs> Chad is like a bull. Jesus, he's big. When he's mad, he's even more worse. Oh my God. Dave, on behalf of s and Designs, this is actually from Barry. Track championship jacket. Calvin, you're saying? I've known you for a long time. I was a baby, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, oh my God, this is the fourth one in a row. So I gotta figure out something to do if he wants five in a row. You married? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry for his wife. You're still with me. I know. <laughs> If you win five in a row next year, I'll be sending you and your wife on a three-day, two-week vacation somewhere. On behalf of SA Designs. Yeah, I'm going for a promotion somewhere like that. On behalf of SA Designs, I'm going to raise your part. You're for a track championship track. As uh, part of the contingency connection, uh, Barry will win. He and Calvin will get a Bully Dog Dominating Performance Challenge for, uh, which is basically uh, up to $3,000 in sponsorship package. Included in that is $350 cash, some uh, Bully Dog Performance things, little uh, GT tuner intake and exhaust, up to $1,000. I'm sure Barry or Calvin, one of them got a little car. I can see Calvin riding around, a little, little tuner and intake. <laughs> Some uh, t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and uh, all kinds of things, uh, courtesy of Bully Dog. So uh, a nice thing there, the Vinci Connection throws out there. And of course, Cal and Big Side just because it's another 350 bucks. Buy more cookies. So uh, rookies in the late models this year. Uh, didn't have a lot of them, but we had one that was brave enough to do it. And uh, again, uh, 
you think it's so tough being a rookie in the modified division. Imagine uh, getting into a late model and trying to uh, get up there and, and learn without getting in the way. Uh, and at the same time, still trying to uh, get better each and every week. So uh, this year's rookie in the San Francisco Construction Late Models, Mr. Dustin Batts.
And I will say again that I truly, I, you know, we've got a great crew at Mullen Raceway Park. These guys do a fabulous job. I mean, uh, if you go to other places, I mean, most tracks have a decent safety crew, but I, I'm, I know I'm biased, but I, I still think we got one of the best. So thank all you guys for, for all the stuff you do every week. We appreciate it. Okay, for anybody that was at uh, Mount Orb Ford last March, you, uh, where the hell is my list? You've seen, us, you've seen us introduce a new backboard that was designed by myself and Jerry. Um, it, so far, we haven't had to use it. We've done it on some practice runs, on some demos. Um, it's had a patent search done on it. There is nothing else in the recent industry. As of next Thursday, we will have a patent pending on it. Uh, we're very proud of that. Hope we never have to use it. But if we do, we're ready. <laughs> we're a safety crew. We're not wrestling referees. Uh, one of the hardest things I had to do last year was take Mr. Stapleton down. <laughs> Lord Jesus, he's big. <laughs> I told him, so I ain't doing this no more. I'm 60 years old and he's way too freaking big. <laughs> anyway, I got, I got a few people that I need to thank on this uh, backboard. Uh, first one is Jerry. Uh, I designed it. Jerry fabricated it for me. Burgess Racing, Ethan Burgess, drive to late model. Brian Gray for helping us. He let us use a couple seats to fit the backboard to different size seats. L&M Metals for uh, letting us use their equipment to bend it. And if this, uh, I've been offered a lot of money to turn this thing down and walk away from it, and I'm not doing it. So whatever I get, we get all of us. Uh, if never seen a backboard before, I can't show it to you yet until after Thursday. But after Thursday, hell, I'll be glad to show it to anybody. We'll do another demo with it. It is, uh, as one person from Kentucky Speedway told me, it's probably the greatest thing that's ever got into the racing industry as far as getting drivers out of cars. With the new containment seats, you can't get a regular backboard from a life squad in it. You can't put a baby backboard in it. These backboards are in two sizes. Barry seen it. Uh, they actually slide down inside of the containment seat. There is three straps that crisscross the chest and go across the waist. There's a halo bar that goes across the top that your helmet is fastened to. We will not take your helmet off. There are straps that two people can get on top of the car and lift you straight up out of it. Your back seat's line and everything's in line. Uh, man, I'm freaking, I'm pumped and I am so proud of these guys. We got our record driver, Sarge and Randy. They worked it, they worked their ass off last week. Oh, man. That's all I got to say. I said enough, Kevin, for the time being. Thank you, Al. Again, great job to all you guys. You do a fabulous job for us. We appreciate it. Al. Al. Go get the big stuff. Go get the big stuff. Say do the last one.